This universe is unimaginably large, and no one can tell what might lie in it. Scientists have been looking out to search more about it, and during that, they have discovered many strange mysterious objects. But what they recently saw just baffled them, and the astronomers said it to be astronomy's newest mystery. Today in Techland, we are going to find out what puzzled the astronomers. Even though the universe is large, it isn't a tumultuous shambles. The majority of stars are clustered together in galaxies separated by vast, almost unimaginable distances. The space between galaxies, known as intergalactic space, is sparsely populated but not entirely empty. Lone stars can be found there as well. And now, astronomers believe they have discovered evidence of one of these lone rogue stars dying for the first time. Not far from the large Magellanic Cloud, a satellite galaxy orbiting the Milky Way, a mysterious and remarkably neat circle emanating radio waves has been detected, hanging in space. In astronomy, circles are fairly common. They're usually caused by spherical objects such as supernovae or a face-on view of a star forming galaxy. This object, on the other hand, was unlike anything else astronomers had ever seen. In 2019, the enigmatic shapes, known as odd radio circles or orcs, were first spotted in images from the Australian Square Kilometer Array Pathfinder or ASCAP radio telescope. It was operated by Australia's National Science Agency or CSIRO. ASCAP, which is made up of 36 massive dishes that image the entire night sky in radio waves, began seeing circles in various locations. As soon as the telescope found these orcs, they became objects of fascination. Just recently, the Meerkat Radio Telescope Array of South African Radio Astronomy Observatory captured a new detailed look at one of the circles, nicknamed Orc 1. The image was shared in a statement on March 22nd. Each of the discovered circles appears to be several billion light years away, with a diameter of a million light years. That's 16 times bigger than our Milky Way galaxy. Individual orcs appear to have galaxies at their cores, but strangely are only visible in radio waves. So despite their size, the orcs are difficult to spot, and as they can only be seen at radio wavelengths, they've remained unexplained so far. Since their discovery in 2019, astronomers have proposed various explanations and theories that range from galactic shock waves to the throats of wormholes. It was Ray Norris of Western Sydney University in Australia who led the team, which was using the Australian Square Kilometre Array Pathfinder or ASCAP. It was a new radio telescope with unprecedented resolution. Indeed, the team found several more examples in the same data set right away. Now, Norris and colleagues have used Meerkat, a more powerful radio telescope array in South Africa, to make more detailed observations. The new images reveal internal structures within the strange radio signals, aiding astronomers in narrowing down possible explanations. ASCAP has 36 by 12 meter dish antennas, whereas Meerkat has twice as many and can produce images with about twice the resolution. The resulting images show a lot more detail, including arc-like structures within the circle and knot-like features. The data also shows that the galaxy in the circle's center is emitting radio waves. The new detailed image captured was published in monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society and is providing researchers with more information to help narrow down the theories. There are now three leading theories to explain what causes orcs. One, they could be powerful jets of energetic particles spewing out of the galaxy's center. Or two, they might be the result of a starburst termination shock from the production of stars in the galaxy. Or three, they could be the remnants of a huge explosion at the center of their host galaxy, like the merger of two supermassive black holes. The first possibility is that the central galaxy is emitting two radio jets in opposite directions, 
which appear to end on and slightly displaced from Earth. This would give the impression of a circle with a structure within it. However, the jets from active galactic nuclei tend to be uneven, so Norris et al. said an additional mechanism could be needed to produce the remarkable circular ring with a well-defined narrow rim seen in the orc. The second theory says that the central galaxy is undergoing intense star formation, causing superwinds to flow away. When these slow down to below subsonic speeds, they produce a spherical termination shock, which produces synchronic radio emissions. The spherical shape viewed from Earth would also create a brighter outer ring. There is also another option. Norris and the team said perhaps the most obvious explanation of the spherical shell of synchrotron emission is the spherical shock from a cataclysmic event in the host galaxy, such as the merger of two supermassive black holes. The resulting shock wave would accelerate electrons in the intergalactic medium, resulting in a spherical bubble of radio emission. The internal structure of the bubble could then come from the way this shock wave has interacted with the other galaxies that now lie within it. In a statement, the team acknowledged that more detailed radio surveys are needed to learn more, but they added that they are excited to see something new in the sky. While the research is still ongoing, the astronomers believe that such imagery will eventually allow them to narrow down their theories on how these radio structures form, as well as better align orc evolution with the rest of the universe. Professor Ray Norris said only five odd radio circles have ever been revealed in space. He said, We know orcs are rings of faint radio emissions surrounding a galaxy with a highly active black hole at its center but we don't yet know what causes them or why they are so rare. The first three orcs, including Orc 1, were discovered using the ASCAP telescope in 2019. A fourth was identified in archival data from India's giant meter wave radio telescope in 2013, and a fifth was discovered by Korbalaski in newer ASCAP data last year. Professor Elaine Sadler, chief scientist at CSIRO's Australian Telescope National Facility, which includes ASCAP, said for now, ASCAP and Meerkat are working together to find and describe these objects quickly and efficiently. Professor Sadler claims that international collaboration improves nearly all astronomy projects, both in terms of the people involved and the technology available. Both ASCAP and Meerkat are forerunners to the global SKA project, which is supported by more than a dozen countries, including the UK, Australia, South Africa, France, Canada, China, and India. These complementary telescopes working together are allowing us to gain a better understanding of odd radio circles. ASCAP and Meerkat were built to test the sites and technology for the SKA. Quite apart from their role as precursors for the SKA, both telescopes have been hugely successful in their own right, making major discoveries in their first years of operation. Their successes in discovering and studying orcs therefore bodes well for the SKA. The two telescopes are also beautifully complementary. ASCAP is superb at surveying large areas of sky and finding new objects while Meerkat is unrivaled for zooming in on those objects and studying them with higher sensitivity and resolution. The SKA promises to surpass both. No doubt, the SKA will find many more orcs and will also be able to probe them to find out what they are telling us about the life cycle of galaxies. In 2021, work on the world's largest radio observatory began and the first light is scheduled for 2027. There are two locations where the array of dishes is positioned. For the middle frequency bands, the SKA mid-array in South Africa's Karo Desert will use 197 dishes. The SKA low array, which is located north of Perth, Australia, consists of 131,072 antennas that listens for lower frequency bands. The enigmatic find was made as part of the Evolutionary Map of the Universe, or EMU, project, 
which aims to compile a list of all radio sources in the sky. Ray Norris predicted that EMU Project would make unexpected discoveries several years ago. He coined the term WTFs to describe them. Given the massive amounts of data involved, Norris admitted in a 2020 piece for The Conversation that he expected those discoveries to come from machine learning analysis. The recently discovered mysterious circles are not something that have been recently created by the universe. However, according to the researchers, as the shell keeps expanding, the charged particles it carries continues to emit radio waves as they wind their way around magnetic fields. By measuring the brightness of the shell, Norris and colleagues estimate that the originating event occurred some 100 million years ago. For the moment, the mystery remains unsolved. In the meantime, several astronomers are enjoying having a new cosmic puzzle to solve. Alice Pacetto, a radio astronomer at the National Autonomous University of Mexico in Mexico City said, This discovery will start new scientific research among astronomers. Co-author Jordan Coilier of the Inter-University Institute for Data-Intensive Astronomy, people often want to explain their observations and show that it aligns with our best knowledge. To me, it's much more exciting to discover something new that defies our current understanding. With new technology in the making, a golden age of radio astronomy is upon us. This is likely to find all manner of strange new objects and odd radio circles are just the beginning. We will keep you updated with that, but until then, share in the comments with us your views on the origin of orcs.